Hi, little friendies. I'm so excited to share one of my favorite first grade projects with you, the Calder Clowns, inspired by artist extraordinaire, Alex Calder. If you want, you can draw with pencil first in this project and then trace over with marker. I go straight to Sharpie so that you can see it better on the screen. Supplies you're going to need are plain paper in a vertical fashion, not horizontal, vertical. You're going to need some sort of circle template for the head. Um, I have a Play-Doh cover, but you could use like a yogurt cover or a cup or a little bowl, whatever you have around your house. You're also going to need um, a pencil, some sort of black marker. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie, just sort of either a black marker or a black crayon. And then you're going to need, in the spirit of Alexander Calder, our primary colors. So I'm using some paint sticks that are blue, red and yellow, but you could use crayons or markers, whatever you have handy at your house. First, using your circle template near the top of your paper, save some room for a little hat, hold with one hand and trace with the other. <clears throat> Excuse my hand. Now I'm going to be doing two versions of this clown. I'm going to do a boy version and a girl version, but you can take pieces from either one of these designs or make up your own. <clears throat> Excuse my hand. Now to make some clowny eyeballs. You could do two circles with black pupils inside of them. I'm making this guy looking at his friend. Or you could try eyes on the top of cheeks with two frowny lines first and then put two upside down U's on top. I'm making this clowny girl looking at her other friend. A big clowny round nose right in the middle of its face. And don't forget the eyebrows. <gasps> Now for a big clowny smile. And then you're going to ring around that with another line. Or you could have a nice open smile, but then don't forget to put that line all the way around the outside of the smile. We're gonna add two quick little ears on the side of the clown's face. And then you can do some like long flowing hair or some really wild and crazy hair off to the side. You decide. Now to add some crazy hats. You could do a beanie style like this. I have three curved lines right on top of each other. And don't forget a little flower if you would like. Or you could do um, a hat off to the side with a pom-pom. I ran out of space here, so I kind of squeezed it in off to the side. Makes them look kind of silly. And you can add details too, like stripes or polka dots. Let's add a ruffle underneath their necks. So you could do a big flouncy wavy line for a big ruffle, or you could do a tiny little dainty ruffle. I'm going to show you two ways to make the body. You could do one that has pants or shorts underneath it, or you could do a dress. So on the left, we're going to do a giant U for my body. And this is the one where you might add shorts or pants underneath. On the right, we're going to make a triangle shape out of the bottom of the ruffle to make a dress shape. Onto the arms and legs. Let's start with some stick arms and legs. So first, draw two curved lines for the arms and then two lines for the legs. You could make your legs dancing lines or straight lines. Let's turn these stick arms and legs into some closed shapes. So I would like you to make parallel curved lines next to the ones that you've already drawn and then connect them at the top.
top with a line. You're going to do the same for all of your legs and arms, like so. For your clowny hands, you could either make fingers like this, or you could make mittens for your clowny hands. Let's make some huge, funny, clowny shoes. We'll start with a big L at the bottom of the pants and then do a backward L out of the bottom of the pants. Now let's make them crazy big and floppy looking. So you're going to put a curved line at the top of the L. Now's the fun detail part, where you can add your own crazy clowny creations. You could add buttons, pockets, belts, ruffles, stripes, both thin and thick. and polka dotties. Have some fun adding your own details. Once you're done drawing your clowns with your pencil, you can go back over it with either a Sharpie or a black marker or a black crayon to make those lines really pop off the page. Then you can go to town with our Calder inspired primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Here's an example if I were to put on my future glasses, what your artwork might look like. I can't wait to see what you've come up with.